Hi, I'm Dr. Yu at the Rochester Museum and Science Center. I thought we might try a, an experiment that you could try at home. If you visited the Adventure Zone, one of the things everybody loves to do is play with that big air cannon. You, you hit it from behind and you throw a big puff of air up, in, up into the sky and make some stuff move around. So we thought we'd try and build one at home. So we're going to be building something like this. So let's see how we got there. So you're going to want to start off with a plastic bottle, some scissors, some rubber bands, and you can either use uh, like plastic wrap, or I like to use Ziploc bags. We'll see how we use those. You might want to get a parent's help when you're using the scissors. Because the first thing you need to do is to cut this bottle. So you want to be able to punch a hole through the bottle. And let's see, here we go. I already started a hole. We're going to cut this in half. You can really do this with almost any size bottle. So once we've got that cut in half, we're just going to use that top part. And then we're going to take our Ziploc bag, and we're just going to pull it around it like this. And you're going to put your rubber band around. You're probably going to need to put your rubber band around twice. You want to get that good and tight without the bottle collapsing too much. Once I've got it on, I'm just going to pull that bag down to get a really nice, tight seal. And now you can see that that is really nice and flat on the top, and now we should be in good shape. So now we can see how this will work, right? Just like in the museum, if we hit the end of that, we can push air using air pressure through the front. So we can see how that works. I have a little uh, bowl of water here, so we'll be able to look for ripples. Here we go. So you can see the air moving that water around. You can try different experiments at home to see how much you can move around, what you can experiment with. I've got some pieces of paper here in the same way if we, so we can see how we can move that around. All right. So when we push the end of this, just like a drum skin, if you play the drums, uh, you're going you're gonna to push vibrations of air through that bottle and it's going to come out the other side. If we were to put a little bit of steam in there, we could actually see that we're going to blow out smoke rings. The air comes out in a smoke ring, we call that a toroid, um, and it comes out in a circle because as the air comes out, the air on the sides hits the sides of the bottle that slows it down, and the air on the, in the middle is moving faster. So it starts to create that circular motion as it comes out. That's why you see those smoke rings. So that's our air cannon. It's a nice, fun experiment you can try at home, and then you can experiment with different things and explore air pressure. Hope you have fun.